Hi guys, I'm Chef Shriya from Sushi and More Mumbai, India. My forte is Japanese food and today I'm going to show you how to make a stir-fried veg in a soy butter sauce. This is a very simple recipe usually followed in teppanyaki restaurants. You can easily make it at home. So for this, I'll be requiring the following ingredients. Firstly, I'm going to use about a cup of blanched broccoli here. There's a cup of mushrooms which have been cut into quarters or halves depending on the size of the mushrooms. These are cherry tomatoes. I have taken about five to six and just cut them into halves. This is asparagus. That's about half a cup of asparagus pears and the top part of the asparagus. That's about one half cup of uh, shiitake, blanched shiitake or soaked shiitake, whichever you get. You can add, use other vegetables if you feel like, like Brussels sprouts or zucchini for that matter. You can also add bean sprouts to this whole recipe. Now for the flavoring, I'll be needing butter. I'll be needing some garlic, some sake. Sake is rice wine, dry wi rice wine. You can use dry white wine instead. I'll be needing some dark Japanese soy sauce some salt and paper pepper for seasoning and lastly I'll be needing some sesame seeds for garnish. So in order to go about with this recipe, firstly we take some butter. You can start with oil if you're more comfortable with oil. Now the, the order with, with in which we add the vegetables depends on how quickly the vegetable cooks. So here we'll start off with the button mushrooms first because they're absolutely raw. Very easy one also. You can add chicken for this recipe. You can add white fish for the recipe. You can add prawns for so this is simple yet very tasty. Never overcrowd a pan with mushrooms because the mushrooms they then tend to get very soggy. Next, I'm going to add is my cup of asparagus spears. Once they get the nice glossiness from the butter. I'm going to add the broccoli, which is blanched. You can also add bell peppers for this recipe, apart from whatever I've added, to give it nice color. Shift all the vegetables to one side, add a little more butter, add the garlic to the butter, not too much. When I said that this was a teppanyaki style cooking, that's how it goes about on a teppan plate, which is an iron grill plate. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, a slight sprinkling. I'm going to add soy sauce later and also because there's butter in it. Just be careful about the amount of salt that you add. Pepper is fine, you can be a little generous with pepper. Now I'm going to deglaze it with the sake. The sake, whatever remnants in the pan, whatever stuck it. The sake gets all of that out, gets all the juices flowing. So just before finishing it off with the soy sauce, I'm going to add a little more butter. The same process that I used for adding in the garlic, let the butter heat up. Add in the soy sauce and the, just mix it in. The moment the hot the soy sauce touches the hot pan, it gives out a very nice fragrance combined with the butter. Lastly, switch it off. Add in the chai tomatoes, they don't need to cook. Stir it a little bit. Sprinkle in some white sesame seeds. And the dish is done. I'm just going to Tip over the vegetables, nice steaming, very delicately flavoured. 
So this was a very simple recipe comprising of many vegetables that you can enjoy at home with miso soup and a bowl of rice. If you like this recipe, do subscribe to India Food Network. For more queries, comments or if you have any recipe that you want me to make, especially with Japanese food, do write in. I'll be most happy to assist. Don't worry, gozaimasu!